Proverbs chapter 11 verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. When righteousness delivered from death, first and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Rahashim, Yahweh Shai, Rahashim, Rakakodash. Next double honors to the head of apostles slash other bishops with great millstone. The one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The God's of people here for a bit. Now you got everybody now. Um, first and foremost, this lesson right here was inspired by the, uh, the lesson that Apostle um, Ramla did earlier. You got people striving to be rich. You got these false prophets. The love of money, man. There ain't nothing wrong with having money, but the love of money. You got our people bugging out. And I'm going to get into some scriptures. You know, it, bl it blind the eyes of the wise. You start getting them payoffs, them bribes, them gifts, them Judas, them Judas purses. It stops you from teaching the truth, man. It stops you from teaching the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, the proper name in the Hebrew tongue. You saw what um, Judas Iscariot did for money. He turned the Lord over, man, for some money for a couple of shekels. I think it was 50 shekels. Turned the Lord over. Things people do for money. Uh, it was a Levert made a song, Don't Let Money Change You. you they're, they're still from their own mother. they kill their own brother for the love of money. Riches, man. The scriptures tell us, and I'm going to bring that out, Lord willing. Strive not to be rich, because rich, rich is probably not in the day of wrath. That's exactly what's coming. Wrath, destruction, chaos, mayhem, missiles dropping, fire, the lake of fire. Shit. Look, look, hold that, hold that wallet up, black card or whatever, currency. You know what I'm saying hold up that, um, the CHIP. Read between the lines, M I M I R M I C R O C H I P. Hold up that. Do like this when those missiles come, please. Please. Please, what does it say again? Proverbs chapter 11, verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. See, we're supposed to be content with what the Lord bless us with. It's like a beautiful point that our, um, Apostle Ramla brought out in his lesson. You get a million, you're going to want two million. You get two million, you're going to want three million. You get three million, you're going to want five million. That's how you know you're going to want ten million. That's how you know you're going to want a billion. Oh, no, 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 like the um, chick that I work with. I said she's from the tribe of Zebulon. She's she from so-called El Salvador. She, she said her um, cousin uh, came up to America. And the only thing this man did is work, 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 work. Trying to trying to stack up like, you know what I'm saying? He said he, said he wanted to be rich so enough. So he stacked and he stacked and he stacked. I think um, right before he died, he stacked up like um, like $50,000. Look, this, this, man, this man wouldn't get no sleep. For a couple of years he did. He wouldn't get no sleep. Just working, 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 working. Striving to be rich. See, see, if, if we would have brought up the right way, the scripture say, um, train up a child in the way that he should go, and he would never depart. If our people was trained up and raised on, according to the Bible, they would do better than what they're doing right about now. But our people look at the Bible as, as, as nothing. You no? Know? But once again, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 4, riches probably not in the day of wrath. When the Lord brings judgment upon you, our people wicked as hell, man. They don't fear the Lord. But then when judgment comes upon you, they think they're going to be able to pay the Lord off. You think you're going to be able to pay an angel off, right? Nah, man. Nah, hey, look, the la the angel ain't even gonna say. I was gonna say the last the last thing the angel think about is some money. The angel ain't even thinking about no money. The angel's the only thing the angel think about is doing the bidding of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh That's all, man. Right? Just like on on Terminator, uh, when Arnold Schwarzenegger came down, he was, he was programmed. He he was on a mission. He had he had um he had a mission. He had to fulfill and conquer, and he did it, man. You know, and he died doing it. You know. It is but righteousness delivered from death, following the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's what will get you delivered, not your riches, man. You know, these people are really, I want to get that too, the love of money. Let's get that too. I think it's in Timothy, the love of money, man. Don't let money change. I think it's in Timothy. For the love of money, man. People stress. Look, all hell breaking loose. Now people still striving to be rich. It's mind boggling, man. Let's see. I know it's in Timothy. I just gotta find out which one. Bear with me. I right hear already. First Timothy chapter six verse ten. For the love of money is the root of all evil. For the love of money, 
not having money because the scriptures tell us money is a defense. It says the love of money is the root of all evil. It's some burning on them for the frankincense and mirth. I'm saying instance, but a real love, love right about now. The love of money is the root of all evil. Look what people do for money, man. Look, look, the people that that, 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 that love money to death, look what they do. See, we, we love wisdom. You see? We love wisdom. And let me get some scriptures on that. Once again, First Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, for the love of money is the root of all evil. People making sacrifices, men sacrificing their family members for money. You know? Sacrificing their babies, their dad and their moms, their sisters and their brothers. You know, they dogs like DMX, all for the love of money, man. And that ain't even money. What Sleazy E is giving you is not even money, man. That, that's FRN notes. See, true money, according to the Bible, is silver, which I got some silver right here. Silver, gold, cattle, land, substance, man. Those are true riches, man. Not no paper, man. Okay? Paper, man. It says, um, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covered up in, they have erred from the faith, man. You had guys that were actually teaching the truth. But then as soon as, you know what I'm saying, sleaze and eat, you know what I'm saying, offer them some money, they start teaching the truth. They start going out. And like the Apostle Ramla was making a whole lot of wonderful points in that in this lesson, man. You got men that used to go out. We know men, too, that we, we knew since we came in the truth, that they, they went back into the world over money, the love of money. You know, the, the scriptures tell us, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. And Lord, where did I get that? Let me just hold that on deck. Chasing money, cars, clothes, and hoes, and forgot about your how about Shemiah was shot. Forgot about the kingdom of heaven. And I said, look, man, this is nothing. We would say the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Lord, what are we enduring to the end? God's going crazy. God's going crazy over this nonsense, man. It's fiat money, man. It's paper money. Walking around with big giant uh, stacks of money holding up to their ear. Like they talking to it like they like it's a phone or something. Come on, man. It says, um, while, while, which while some covered after, they have erred from the faith. Pretty much, you know what I'm saying? You look up that word, erred is like pretty much being in the precept. It says, um, been seduced. Going right back to that scripture, um, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the ways of the wicked have seduced them, man. Because everything they see on TV, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, man, it's not of the Father, but it's of the world. And I'm going to read that too, man. So a lot of people see, see something on TV, they see the um, rappers, they see the actors, these are that, and they just see all uh, like the, these different rappers. Our people, our person that wants to be a rapper, he'll see on TV a rapper that's surrounded by girls. You know what I'm saying? Boats, yachts, and all that. You know what I'm saying? Gold chains and all that. But only if you knew what they had to do. A lot of people know too, man. It's, it's all out there, man. Enough reports on what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? To really make it in this society. Why? Because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So we already know what you got to do, man. It says, so, so they have been seduced, man. It says, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through many sorrows. And then look at the majority of people that made it famous. Israelites, anyway, they say they're miserable, man. They say they wish they um would have had just a normal life like we do, man. You see, they did all kind of wicked stuff. They can't even look in, look at themselves in the mirror, man. And then what they do? Once again, what are they gonna do? Gonna pay the Lord off when judgment come? Nah, man. When the Lord sent forth them death angels, what, what are they gonna pay them off? Nah, man. And, and I got that Proverbs too that I want to bring. I want to bring this out first too, though. This is First John chapter two, verse fifteen. Love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. Our people are striving to get money, cars, clothes, holes, man. And then on top of that, they willing to do anything to get it, man. You know, I mean, sleazy, you got that nonsense term, I'll work hard and you can achieve anything, which is, that's all nonsense. We just here to get our daily bread, man. And that's it until the Lord come, man. And be content with what you got. The Lord bless you with a job, a nice car, a little nice house, whatever. And the Jakes out there, the Israelites that are doing the right thing by your how about Shimmy Al Shai, if you got some money, you say you got a nice house, you got got a nice car, and it is what it is, man. Let that be let that be where it stay though. You know? Don't be striving to get more and more and more and more and more. No, we need to fear the Lord. Once again, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. 
If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Because once you start getting that money and them riches and all that, here comes the women. Here comes the fame. Here comes the bright lights. Look, here come the drugs. You know what I'm saying? And, and then, look, here come the robbers. You know what I'm saying? Here come the thieves. You know, people just trying to set you up, man. So they find out you got some money. They don't win the lottery and end up on TV. And they show you on TV holding that damn check like this. Looking all crazy. Come on, man. You know they're coming after you, man. They got your name, too. I'm like, oh, what? They're going to be at your house before you even get there. You know what I'm saying? You, you might as well not even go home. It says, um, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, and that's all they promote on TV. You know what I'm saying? Sex, 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 halfway naked women. You know what I'm saying? Men walking around, you know what I'm saying? Like I said before, with the, um, Sacks of money, racks on racks, you know what I'm saying? To their ear like this, like they talking to the money. You know what I'm saying? I'm allergic to broke guys. I'm allergic to broke people and all this other nonsense. And now people be lusting after that, man. They be lusting after the babes. You know what I'm saying? The yachts and all that. The big giant mansions. And they willing to do anything to get it, man. The Lord said, what? For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. And the pride of life. And the majority of these people that's rich, they're very prideful. They got that, most definitely got that pride demon on them. It's not of the Father, but it's of the world. And the world, meaning this age, Shlisi E's age. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, abideth forever. Are you doing the will of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai? And I want to get this too. Let's get this Proverbs right quick. Proverbs, the 8th chapter. I'm thinking it is. Okay, Proverbs 8. Let's see. Yeah, listen, listen now. Proverbs chapter 8, because our people are killing themselves. What did King Solomon pray for? It was in a dream. King Solomon was dreaming, you know what I'm saying? The wisest king on the earth, which is Lord Yahweh Shai, if you can receive it, but they can be called Jesus. The wisest king on the earth. What did he pray for? He prayed for wisdom, man. So listen to this. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies. You see, wisdom, man. Because the scriptures say what? Isaiah 33 and 6, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. That's what's going to keep us stable, not your money, man. You see? You see these rich people on TV and all that? As soon as they start catching problems or whatever, their money don't keep them stable. They start bugging out. Why? Because they, the, they ain't got the true riches, which is this wisdom. to keep them stable when they get the money. You see? Once again, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared unto. That's why King Solomon prayed for wisdom. So he can rule the people the right way. And since he prayed for wisdom, the Heavenly Father, I'm saying, gave him all things. Gave him the riches. Gave him fame. Gave him women. Gave him his heart's desire, man. All because he prayed for wisdom, man. But put, put the scripture say, you um, wisdom work of all things. You got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. You can Look, you can handle some money if you get it. But if you don't got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, you're going to bug out. Soon you get that money. You're going to be all on the island looking all crazy, you know what I'm saying, drunk. You're going to probably end up walking into the ocean, you know what I'm saying, a shark going to eat your ass, or an alligator, or, or robbers, you know what I'm saying, because you're going to be out there all flashy, you know what I'm saying, at the beach, you know what I'm saying, and um, you're probably going to probably go down there uh, to Tijuana or either, um, what's that other shit, um, and down in Mexico. I forgot that um that beach down in Mexico, but oh no, it ain't uh shit. I can't even think of that thing. I can't even think of the beach down in Mexico, but anywhere, wherever the nice resorts are, that's where you gonna be. You're spending cash, making yourself a target, man. You see? But if you had wisdom, you would be alright. If you had wisdom, you would be alright. But once again, the love of money is the root of all even. I got this already queued up. On the phone, so Rock chapter 40, verse 26, it says, Riches and strength lift up the heart. Now, having money do makes you feel good. You know what I'm saying? Having a healthy body does make you feel good. But what the scriptures say, so Rock chapter 40, verse 26, Riches and strength lift up the heart, meaning the mind. But the fear of the Lord, because you see, the most majority of these rich people do not fear the Lord. And I'm talking about the Israelites. So, like it, because most definitely these heathens don't fear Yahweh, but I'm talking about the Hebrew Israelites. 
which consists of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, the majority of our people that do got money. I look at Whitney Houston before before the Lord took her ass out. She didn't fear the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And, and many of them, man, I mean, it's just so many to name, man. You know, and all of them, you know what I'm saying, end up oppressed. Oh, yeah, the scriptures say, um, envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways, man. Because once again, you know what you got to do, Israel, to get rich. You know what you got to do, Israel. Once again, so Rock 40 and 26. Riches and strength lift up the heart. But the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is above them both, man. Fearing the Lord is above you being filthy, stinking rich. You see? It's above you being filthy, stinking rich. It says, um, there is no want in the fear of the Lord. And it needeth not to seek help because all hell breaking loose. What, you, what your money gonna do? What your money gonna do? All hell breaking loose. All hell breaking loose. Let, let's go back. I wanna um let's see. Matter of fact, I got I got that right quick. Still in the book of Proverbs. There's a whole lot of scriptures on, on riches in Proverbs too. This is Proverbs chapter 23. Shalaki. Proverbs chapter 23. And four, and it reads, labor not to be rich. You got guys that got like four or five jobs. They'll never be at home. This guy I used to kick me with back in the world, you know what I'm saying? He had like three or four jobs, man. He will never at home. You see, because he got this expensive ass house that he had to pay for. He had a car note. He had everything trying to holler at all these women. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be all fresh, trying to wear the nice suits and all that. So all this dude used to do is just work, work, work all the time, man. You see? This dude didn't even never sleep at his house. He ain't even really had no days off, man. He had like three, four jobs. And he would work damn near every day on each job, man. And he used to look so tired and beat down, man. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, uh, shit, yo, where you headed now? Shit, man, I'm on the grind, man. I'm on the grind. I'm like, damn, that dude gonna kill himself. You know? And in the end, and in the end all, be it all, to make a long story short, none of it didn't pay off. All that damn work and didn't even pay off, man. You know, losing the house and losing the car. I seen him not too long ago on the damn bus, looking through. Well, I seen him getting off a bus, looking through. You see a person that's known for driving a car, you see him getting off the bus, you're like, damn. This car either broke down or even fell off the map, man. You can tell, I see he was worn out, man. It's good to say, what again, Proverbs 23 and 4. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. I got to get it, yo. I got to get it, yo. I got to get it, yo. I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. Sit your ass down. Give, give us this day our daily bread. One job should be enough to make ends meet. Don't try to live above your means, man. Get you a nice, decent apartment or a room in house, whatever. As long as you got a roof over your head, the Lord about to come, man. The Lord is about to come. You see? Labor not to be rich. I was telling you about the um, the lad chick that worked with me. The Zebulonite night chick. Her cousin, you know what I'm saying? He worked himself to death coming to America trying to stack up dope. And I'm still in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs, the 30th chapter. Yeah, I was at work watching the Apostle Ram Lodge lesson. I was like, yeah, everything he was saying was on point, man. As always, through the Spirit. And you have a bunch of shot people killing themselves and their family members just to get rich. Look at, um, oh, bro, I forgot her damn name that quick, you know what I'm saying? She do all that singing and all that. She sacrificed damn near her whole family. You know what I'm saying? For riches, man. For fortune and fame, Proverbs 30 and 8, um, 7. Two things have I required of thee. Deny, deny me them not before I die. Move far from me vanity and lies. Give me me the poverty nor riches. We just want to be above water, man. Just want to be above water. You see? Give us neither poverty nor riches because you don't want to be too rich and you don't want to be too poor. You know, that, that's a prayer right there, man. Why, look, look, why though? It says, um, feed me with food convenient for me. You, j just give us enough, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Just to sustain us. Give us enough. What it say in the precept? Oh, uh, what is that? Of my allowance. You look up that word, um, convenient goes to pretty much an allowance. You know what I'm saying? Just enough, right? It says, um, least I be full and deny thee. You see, and say, who is the Lord? You look at these rich people. Look at these rich, rich jays. They, they, they don't pray that as, 
even going out to the false prophets, man, they fell out. The men used to teach the truth and they got a little bit of money and they fell out. Look at them now, man. They, they like, yo, I don't need the Lord now. I'm good now. I don't need to pray hard. What I need to pray hard for now? I, I'm, I'm rich now. I got racks on racks. I'm holding them, saying Them chariots going to come through like them birds coming through, too. It's going to be a beautiful sight. Lord, when are we up there number to see it? A lot of people like, yo, I got racks on racks. Look at this dude. I always trying to impress somebody. Yeah, as soon as you start getting the riches and all that, it's, it's about trying to impress somebody, man. It ain't about being humble. You see the average person that's rich, they're not humble, man. They're most definitely pride. That pride start kicking in, right? I want to read on, though. Proverbs 30 and, and 9. At least I be fool and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Or at least, and then the guys that um, became rich, you only see them on the highways and byways. They ain't got that fire. For you, how about Shemel Shah like they used to have, man? You know what I'm saying? A poor man, yo, he be on fire for you, how about Shemel Shah? A rich man, you, you don't really see him no more. Look at these false prophets, you know what I'm saying? They gained a whole lot of money, they ripped off their whole congregation. You don't really see them. You see you see certain members of their organization. You probably see them out there on the highways and byways, but the, the so called leaders, they made it big, they got rich, you know, until, until it's time to make a special appearance. You know? It says, um, or at least I be poor. We got to hurry up and get the hell out of here, man. Our people are really poor, though, man. Why, why, why do our people still want to stay here, man? Why? It says, at least I be poor and still and take the name of my power in vain. Because if you end up, if you're too poor, you end up digging out of trash cans and all that, you're going to be cursing the Lord. This, then the third, you know what I'm saying? You, you know how Jake be, man. When they down on their luck, they just can't get ahead. They, bl they blame it on the Lord. Blame it on your doings, man. Blame it on your doings. Everything that happened to you, you know what I'm saying, is happening to you for a reason. You see? Let's see what else. I got a couple more. Let me wrap it. I just want to hit some lessons. Hit some scriptures, Reverend. Do the spirit of your house, but you know what I'm just to add on. Put my two cents in it. That guy's paying off to not teach the name of the Lord. For the love of money, let's get this though. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of Yahweh Bashim is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. But then some of these false prophets get that money. They get rich, they don't even teach the name of the Lord no more, man. They go way the hell off, right? Let's get this. What was I getting ready to get? Proverbs, the 15th chapter. You almost definitely get that Isaiah 33, Lord's will. This is um, Proverbs chapter 15. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 16. Better is little with the fear of the Lord. You're getting your daily bread. You so you got a roof over your head. You know what I'm saying? You got some clothes. You got something to eat. You got something to drink. Better is a little. With the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Then great treasures, you know what I'm saying? You got their mansions, all these women, all these cars, you know what I'm saying? It says, um, I don't read the whole thing again. That is little with the fear of the Lord, then great treasure and trouble therewith. Once again, you get rich, you know what I'm saying? You got people trying to rob you to death, man. That's why the scriptures tell us to store treasures in heaven, not upon earth. Do not why store up treasures upon earth when somebody gonna bust your head wide open and soon come. This this is gonna be an invading of each other house and soon come. So what so so why go crazy trying to stack our riches, man? Just to leave it to somebody else. King Solomon was going into that. You know what I'm saying? He said he said it was all he he knew all things. He said it was all vanity, man. You know what I'm saying? And when you die, you know what I'm saying, you leave everything you work hard for to somebody else that ain't even going to take care of your stuff, you yeah? know? They're going to destroy it. They're going to sell it. They're going to do whatever they want to do to it. You ain't around. You dead. You dead. Let's go to the book of Psalms. You dead anyway. This is Psalms. Let's see. Psalms chapter 73. Psalm chapter 73, and, oh yeah, the guys called us bum, they called us the bummer lights, right? 
making fun of us for not having all the riches in the world. Well, the scriptures tell us, strive not to be rich. The rich is probably not in the day of wrath. What do you think your rich is going to think in thinking that God, uh, gain is God in this, man? Oh, yeah, look at that. He gave a suit. He must be a man of the Lord. Look at his shoes. Look at his house. Look at his cars. Oh, yeah, he must be a man of the Lord. Wrong. 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 Psalm 73. In verse, let me see. Before the verse 12. Psalm 73 and verse 12. I want to read up some. Let's see. Oh, I go to 12 just to the point. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches, man. Matter of fact, let's see. That's really going to say Esau, Sleazy E. But you can throw two thirds of our people in there. You know what I'm saying? It's sold out. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. Who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Why? And how they do that? By doing something wicked. By doing something wicked, because once again, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. In order for you to become rich on this side, 50 stinking rich, you got to sell out, man. You got to. The scriptures tell you that, man. Because why? The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. But I want to get this, though. Second Chronicles chapter 19. And 7. Second Chronicles chapter 19, verse 7. Wherefore, now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Let the fear of the Lord be upon you, children of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and they don't make Indians, right? Take heed and do it. Because that's the beginning of wisdom. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our power, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. So you can't bribe the Lord off. The Lord don't want your money. You can't pay the Lord off. You can't pay the angels off. When it's time for you to receive your judgment, you're going to receive your judgment, man. You see? Wherefore, now let the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, shall be upon you, Israel. Get that fear. Get that fear, man. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I read earlier on wisdom is better than rubies. And, and then you can't even compare nothing to this wisdom that we have. And also, you can't compare nothing to this wisdom, man. Let's go back to Proverbs. The third chapter. Just want to get that right quick. Then I'm gonna get that one in Wisdom of Solomon. Lord's will. This is Proverbs. Just a quick little lesson, man. Just to add on lamb back. Some old lamb back. That's all. You got somebody out right now trying to get rich, trying to rob a bank or something. Right about now, sticking somebody a robber, going running around robbing people, trying to get rich. You know what I'm saying? Coming up with schemes and plots and all that, man. Get rich schemes. Proverbs chapter 3, verse uh, 13. Happy is the man that find a wisdom and the man that get up understanding, which all starts off with the fear of the Lord. It says happy. You're supposed to be happy. But just having his knowledge, you're supposed to be tickled to death. You're supposed to be thrilled to death for having his knowledge. You know? Plus, I got, since I said that, I got to hold this on that. I want to get in hold on that. Hold on that. Hold it. Hold it on deck. Get it and hold it. Let's see. Yep. Get it and hold it. Proverbs chapter 3. Read on verse 14. For the merchandise of it. Meaning it's wisdom. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. And the gain thereof than fine gold, man. You can't even compare the gold and the diamonds and the silver and the cares of this world to this wisdom, man. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her, man. You see? Oh, yeah, then, then the scriptures tell us um, the Lord loveth none but those that have wisdom. Let's get this. James, this is for all you Israelites that are striving to be rich, is killing yourself to be rich. You don't get no sleep. You better see your house. All the time you come home is to feed the dog, probably. Or to feed the fish or whatever animals you got. Another, uh, other than that, you zooming back out the door to punch into another clock. Pretty much um, a rat race, man. Uh, what does it say? I'm a hamster um, on the wheel. A hamster on the wheel. James chapter 2 verse 5. Hawking, meaning listen. My beloved brethren, the house of David, have not the most high chosen. Have not the most high Yahweh chosen the poor of this world. 
rich in faith said, well, you know, we're rich in faith, you know, which is priceless. You can't even put a price on faith. That's priceless. That's a priceless gift right there, man. But our people see that we ain't got the fanciest clothes. We ain't got the baddest house. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got the baddest car. Things of that nature. So what would they call us? Bums. The bummer lights. The bum camp. But what did the Lord say again? And that, and that was a compliment, actually. You know? They call us faith-based Israelites. That was really a compliment, right? James chapter 2, verse 5. Hawking, my beloved brethren. Have not the Most High Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he had promised to them that love him, man? You see? But what did it say? But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment cease? Yeah, rich men oppress the poor, man. You got our people trying to be just like sleaze and eat. Give me their fancy suits. You know what I'm saying? Trying to talk just like this devil, man, just because you got a little bit of money. Move into his little community. Which, of course, if you get some money, you're not going to want to stay dead in the midst of the hood. You know what I'm saying? You know, you want to stay somewhere where it's more uh, peaceful, where it's more safety, safer at, you know? Ain't nothing wrong with that. But our people try to rub elbows with the big wigs with sleaze and eat. That ain't going to profit you in the day of wrath. I want to get that one in Wisdom of Solomon, too. I think it's Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 3, if I'm not mistaken. Quick little lesson on, on what the true riches are. And that's what I might name this um, lesson. What is true riches? This wisdom? We should all know the answer to that. This is Wisdom of Solomon. I think it's 8. Bear with me. 8 and 3, yep. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8, verse 3. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, and everyone striving, they got songs that I want to be rich. For the love of money. I mean, it's, it's thousands upon thousands of songs about people talking about how to get rich. You see? But the scripture says, riches be a possession to be desired in this life. Gold, silver, land, houses, you name it, man. Different, all kind of royalties. Riches, right? It says, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things, man? Now, you got the knowledge. Once again, once again, through the Spirit. If you got all, if you got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, look, man, you do run into some riches, you able to, you know how to spend it. You, you know exactly how to spend it, man. That Matthew is calling me right about now, the sixth chapter. St. Matthew chapter six. And I'm going to bring out a couple more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up. St. Matthew chapter six, verse um, 19. Listen, red letter. Lord, no, yeah, I wish I speak with what they call Jesus, right? Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. But then you got you got these you got these false pastors and false prophets telling you to, to, to go for the riches, go for the gusto. But the Lord said, Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Your best friend will rob you, man. He'll set you up. Your woman will set you up. You get the riches, she'll set you up, man. Your own mama will set you up, man. She find out you holding back on them riches. You see? It says, but love for yourself treasure in heaven. And that's what we're doing. Every time we go out there to the highways and byways, do these lessons, charity, worry and love, that's all part of storing up treasures in heaven, man. And in the kingdom, Lord, what are we making on that first go around? We're going to be 50 stinking rich. You're not going to be able to put a number on, on how rich we are or how wealthy we are, man. All right? See, you can put a number on the Rothschilds, the Gettys. They, they like what? What did it say? $500 trillion? $500 trillion, you can put a number on their wealth. You will not be able to put a number on our wealth, man. Right? You most definitely got to read this. Listen to this, Israel. St. Luke chapter 12, verse... Um, listen, St. Luke chapter 12, verse 15. And it reads, And he said unto them, This is red letter, Lord, you how I speak it. What did even call Jesus, right? Take heed. And beware of covetousness. You see somebody got something down with me and you need it, man. That's what's wrong with our people. They see it. everything they see on TV. They see these people with the riches, the fortune, the fame. They're like, yo, I, I want that. I want that. And they wouldn't do anything to get it, man. Instead of just waiting on the Lord. It says, and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consists of not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. And that's what our people base everything. 
and people people look at you they base what you have as it is what it is pretty much you know if you ain't got the, the you you're nothing without a big giant fancy car house riches all these type of women that's what that's that's how carnal these people are man but the scripture say what now for a man's life consists of not in the abundance of the things which he possesses man so you ain't gotta have the biggest car you ain't gotta have 30 cars in your um, front um, area of your house and all that man to be somebody you know you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta live in a mansion to be somebody in the eyes of your how about shimmy i was shy in this world you gotta have all that uh giuseppe's and all the other nonsense on man i can't even louis vuitton dior and all that the lord like yo it don't matter how many cars you got how much jewelry you got you know how much wealth you got that doesn't determine you no know, saying um, what a man really is all because of the possessions that he have now nah. nah. you see so you can have all that it still not mean nothing to you how about shimmy i was shot you see you got all that but you stingy as hell ain't gave no you screws mcduck Walk on, walk in screws, McDuck, and got all them riches, ain't gave nobody nothing, man. Remember, the scripture say charity covered a multitude of sins. Let's get that. Did I read that, Isaiah? Did I read that? I know, I ain't reading it. I'm going I'm to finish off with this. I'm going to end it with this. This is Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 33. You know where I'm going. Isaiah 33 and 6. Because so remember, riches is probably not in the day of wrath. Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is his treasure. So Lord, one of the elect was edified. Just be um, content with what you got, man. Give us this day our daily bread. You know? Be content with what the Lord bless you with, man. You got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and strength. Be thankful for that. You got a roof over your head, some light, some water. Be thankful for that. The love of money is the root of all evil. Strive not to be rich, man. Scripture tells us that over and over and over again. And once again, like the apostle was going into, you got a, um, if you got some money and you well off, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. But the majority of the Israelites, they get rich and all that, they forget about the Lord, man. Especially the men, you know what I'm saying? They, don't come in, they ain't on fire as much. They ain't got that hunger. You know what I'm saying? They ain't crying into the Lord as much. You see? Like they used to. And the Lord said, when I bring that wrath, I'm saying, look, don't, don't think you're going to be able to pay me off. Because you're not, man. But I ain't going to be the day of the Lord willing to elect was edified, man. Shall not to be rich, pretty much. Shall I won't.